Hey everybody, this is Claire and this is More Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or I go to estate sales or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist and I look for things that either appeal to me personally or that I think would have a story or that I think you guys would find interesting and then I try to find out as much as I can about them and then I tell you guys about them. So here's what I've got today. Yeah. I hope you're going to be able to see these. Um, just for the hell of it, I'm going to turn them over so it's more obvious. There we go. We have a set of four teacups and very pretty ones as well. Um, they are here on the inside. Um, they have a few little manufacturing defects. You can see here that's a little divot or whatever in this porcelain made in China. Um, it's going to be a case of turning the teacups over. There's one of them that has, there you go, a little bit of grit or sand or whatever stuck in it. Now, all four of them are exactly the same. They're all in great condition. No chips, no cracks, no nothing. And yes, they are vintage. They are hand painted and enamel, I think. And they have this wonderful design printed onto them. And you can see that there are four characters. Plus this one in the middle that I'm afraid I do not know Chinese well enough to translate. Um, but the four symbols I do actually know something about. And we'll get to that in a minute. Obviously, they say made in China. And obviously, we'll get to that as well. So, measure up. They are about three and a half inches wide. And if I am very careful, about one, say one and three quarter inches high. I think this would have originally have come with a teapot as well, and unfortunately the teapot has been lost. We have only the cups. So, first thing, what do we know about the mark? Now, the mark, if we go to Gothenburg again. So, Gothenburg.com is basically the 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 last, the last word in kind of visual references, especially for, <laughs> for foreigners like me who do not understand Chinese, the the fact that they just have so many like pictures about, you know, showing all these different marks and kind of explaining what they are and where they came from, that's immensely helpful. I really wish I could read Chinese, I, I I can't. The most that I can do is just kind of match the symbols or be able to recognize the symbols in some way. So, the mark that we've got at the top here. And obviously it says made in China. Now the rest of the mark matches right here. Songhua Jingnezen. So Jingnezen obviously one of the big one of the big famous um, like ceramic manufacturing locations or whatever in China. They've been making fine porcelain for years. And these cups obviously are no different. Now these are reproductions of of like older pieces from say the the, the Queen the King I can never pronounce that. The 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 Queen uh, Q-I-N-G. I cannot do the pronunciation. Much apologies to anyone who's watching this who, who happens to speak Chinese. I I, I, I try. <laughs> I very, very frequently fail. Cling, I think. Not good at that. So th that's kind of, they have a, this is going to be a reproduction from an earlier time of one of the, one, like, you know, like one of the, the more famous eras or whatever of, of the really expensive porcelain. Um, this, these, however, are not from that. These are from like the 1980s. They are vintage and they're in great condition, but they're still going to be reproductions of like the, the, the very expensive, like million dollar vases that we've heard about. Stuff like that, like the Ming Dynasty kind of stuff. Maybe not in this style though. Um, so we do have some information about what exactly the symbols are. I'll show you an example here. It's probably made around the same. Vintage Chinese Wang Shu Wu Jiang decoration, the four symbols on the cup and saucer. And this is obviously the same style as this. And it just so happens that we have, uh, we have a blog here, it tells us a whole bunch of information about this particular style, Wang Shu Wu Jiang. 
So what it says here, Wang, Chu, Wu, Jiang wears include all portions and patterns which are four equally spaced circles in which contain, in sequence, the Chinese characters Wang, Xu, Wu, and Jiang, or this here in simplified form. Oh yeah, there we go, in simplified form. Uh, it translates as boundless longevity or everlasting long life. Where Wang equals 10,000, Xu equals long life, and Wu, Jiang without boundary. The interesting and intriguing you could re use of rebuses and puns in Chinese are evident on the decorations on these porcelains. Yeah, so there's a lot of information here, and I'm going to put a link down in the description if you want to read it. It is fascinating because these patterns have gone back for quite a long time. I'm just going to. Let's just put those over here. And if we actually, we can actually go down and look specifically for. There we go. Bao Jiang Hua, if I've done that right, pattern. Lotus scroll in the west, the central flower motif of which has been used in porcelain for much of the, the Qing period and earlier. This version, the Wang Shu Wu Jiang medallions, are present on many examples of the pattern, but it also exists in regular forms. Both these are any medallions still being produced at Jing the Zen today. And you can see that the scroll is all the same. The scroll is obviously, this is like the, the what's actually been referred to here, the, the this lovely little like Greek key style around the, around the rim. And here's a few more examples. Particularly like that one. The colours are just nice. So because this is Vancouver and we have a very a, a, like a, a very high Asian population, um, I do see quite a lot of this. And I see them in different styles and occasionally different colours. A lot of them will tend to be incredibly beat up or they'll be chipped. The worst thing is when I see them with dishwasher damage, it's just an ongoing thing. I've seen more like vintage dinnerware destroyed by dishwashers than than anything else and it's incredibly sad to see it because especially here you can see that the, the enamel here is still lovely and shiny if it's been through the dishwasher at all it's not shiny it gets incredibly dull because the surface takes so much damage it's like it's, it's taking like it's like taking sandpaper and just rubbing it over it and it just completely wrecks the shiny it doesn't completely take the color off it's still kind of nice I'm just kind of glad that I managed to find these and they survived. They did not, they, I don't think they've ever seen a dishwasher, which is great. And I hope that whoever gets them is not going to put them through a dishwasher. So the other question is, what are they actually worth? And I paid $4 for the four of these, which is kind of, you know, it's about right. But if we get, we'll go back to eBay and we'll take a quick look. It's kind of hard to nail down what you would pay for a set of four vintage cups. Of this kind. There are a few examples like of the mugs and everything in this style and I kind of know what to look for because you know I, I kind of know this kind of style of, this, of like the, the Jing Dezen like porcelain, porcelain that's been made around like the, the late 1970s early 1980s. I see quite a bit of it. I kind of get, I'm sort of familiar with it but you just don't see a whole lot of it on eBay. <laughs> There's another one there. There you go. And that is one that's in the same style and you know probably made by the similar manufacturer, but that's going for like $30 Canadian, almost. So the unfortunate thing is is that I can't I can't really tell you. We can even take a look for sold items. You can see that the styles here, yeah, that people people definitely look for these. We've got a set of four here. Well, she is twenty five dollars. Maybe that's a good comparison. This is a different style, obviously, and I don't mean a slightly different shape. It looks like as well. So, eh, who knows? I'm going to say that these are probably worth fifteen to twenty dollars. You know, conservatively, you might get someone who likes these and decide, or they want to complete a set because I do see this pattern quite a bit. And if someone has a nice teapot, or they want to replace some of these cups, you know, they'll definitely be looking out for them. So. There you have it, guys. There we go. <laughs> I I do like these. I like the I, I do like the, especially the little design around the base. It just looked really classy. <laughs> yeah. So here's my small joyful thing for the day. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye bye.